learners welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll do the part 4 in that we'll see exercise 1.4 so the product of two rational numbers is given as minus 8 by 9 if one of them is 10 by 3 and you have to find the other number so you have to concentrate here this is the product so we can consider the other rational number as x so this x Plus this one, sorry, this is my product means that is multiplication. One number is given as ten by three. So this together is going to be minus eight by nine because the product is given as minus eight by nine. So when you solve this one, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So this let us keep on the left side. This is already on the right hand side. So if this goes on the other side, this is going to be It is going to get divided, or we can also write the reciprocal of it. See here, I'll show you both ways. If you are going because multiplication becomes division, so later on it becomes true. This division becomes multiplication, but this gets flipped over. That is going to be three by ten. So I either you write this step, or directly you can just write this the reciprocal of this one multiplied by three by ten. So this is going to be three ones are three threes are and five. Two fours are and two fives are, so that will be minus four by five. Because four by this is fifteen, so we can say therefore the other rational number is minus four by fifteen, because three times five is fifteen. Divide the sum of two by nine and four by seven by the difference. So what you have to do first, you have to see the sum of two by nine and four by seven. So, if we take the sum of two by nine and four by seven, so sum means you are going to add it. So now you can see the denominators are different. So you will take the LCM of it. So the LCM of this you can check it. It is going to be sixty-three. So here you are going to multiply by seven. So this also numerator should be multiplied by seven. This is multiplied by nine because seven nine is sixty-three. So this also should be multiplied by nine. So this is going to be fourteen plus thirty-six divided by sixty-three. So, which is going to be fifty by sixty-three. So, this is the sum. Now, let us see the difference. So, difference of both these numbers. So, you are going to subtract it. Again, here you can see the denominator is different. So, you will take the LCM that is going to be sixty-three. So, this will be multiplied by seven, and this by nine. So, that is going to be fourteen minus thirty-six divided by sixty-three. So, minus thirty-six plus fourteen. So that is going to be minus twenty-two by sixty-three. So now we got the sum and we got the difference. Now we are going to divide because we are going to divide the sum of this one by the difference. So what was the sum? Sum was fifty-three by sixty-three. You are going to divide by minus twenty-two, twenty-two by sixty-three. So now this stays the same. This is division, so that is going to get multiplied. So this is going to get flip over. So now this will be sixty-three ones are. So two elevens are and two twenty-fives are. So that is the minus twenty-five by eleven is the answer. What must be subtracted from minus nine by fourteen to get eleven by eight? So now whenever you have such type of problem, so whatever the from is there, that should be at the start. So what should be, must be subtracted means we are going to consider let the number be x and then from from what nine by fourteen so the minus that is minus nine by fourteen so minus nine by fourteen and you are going to subtract this number and that to get to get means the result will be eleven by eighteen so minus six let us keep on the left hand side this is already on the right hand side if minus nine by fourteen goes to the other side that is going to be plus nine by fourteen. So minus x is going to be. So now, if we take the LCM of this one, so that is going to be one twenty six. So this will be multiplied by seven, and this is going to be multiplied by nine. So this will be seventy seven plus eighty one divided by one twenty six. So this will be one fifty eight divided by one twenty six. So x will be now. This is minus x, so we want to to make it to positive. So this will go on the other side. So when it goes to, to the other side, see here, this actually is minus one. So minus one, if it goes to the other side, this is multiplication. So it is going to get divided. So that is going to be minus 
so now when you simplify this by 2 that will be minus 79 by 63 so this because now you can see the numerator is bigger so this is an improper fraction so 79 by 63 that is going to be so one integer 16 by 63 so when this is the negative sign we'll keep as it is so x will be so we can also write here what must be subtracted this one will be we can write x is minus 1 by 16 by 63 divide the sum of 5 by 9 and minus 8 by 7 by the product of 7 by 5 and 3 by 8 so first let us take the sum so now we have these two numbers so 5 by 9 and this one so you are going to add it because it's sum so i put the bracket because there are two sign over here so now you can see the denominators are different so that is good you are going to take the lcm that is going to be 63 so 9 sevens are and here will be 5 sevens are 7 nines are and 8 nines are so this is going to be 35 and plus minus becomes here minus 72 by 63 so that will be minus 72 plus 35 so that will be minus 37 by 63 now if you take the product of this one products means you are going to multiply this one these two numbers so 7 by 5 into 3 by 8 now this is multiplication so here you don't have to take lcm you have to just multiply this one here because that was a sum you have to take the LCM of this one. This is multiplication. So you can directly write here because we cannot simplify here anyway. So we can write here 21 by 40. And now what you are going to do, you are going to divide it. You got the sum, we got the product. Now you are going to divide it. So your minus 39 by 63 divided by 21 by 40. So this stays the same. This becomes multiplication. So this gets flip over that will be 40 by 21 so we cannot simplify it directly so what will you do you will multiply this one you get 1480 after multiplying this you get minus this one this will be minus as it is this will be 1323 so this is the answer the sum of two positive integers that is the rational numbers is 8 by 25 and one of them is 3 by 16 and you have to find the other number so this is sum is given as 8 by 25 and one of the numbers so the other number we don't know the other number that will be x so now sum is given means what you'll do you will take x plus this one of the number is 3 this will be you are going to add it and if this is 8 by 25 because the sum is 8 by 25 so this will stay as it is this is already on the right hand side this goes on the right hand side means plus minus this will become minus 3 by 16 so now you can see the denominators because this is minus over here the denominators are different so you will take the lcm after taking the lcm you can just check it so this should be 400 the lcm is 25 and 16 is 400 so i'll show you how to take the lcm Two twos are 25 are 2 1s are 25 and here will be 5 fives are and here 5 ones are so this is going to be 25 25 twos are 50 50 twos are 100 100 twos are 200 and 200 twos are that is going to be 400 so this is a 400 so here you are going to multiply by 16 to make it to 400 here you are going to multiply by 25 to make it to 400 so this will be 128 minus 75 divided by 400 so here 128 minus 75 will be 53 by 400. So the other number is 53 by 400. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.